Ray Christman here from RL Christman Metalworks. Well, I'm back in the second part of this series on uh, making an outboard spider spider for my Birmingham YCL 1340 metal lathe. As you can tell, I'm getting ready to start drilling this out in preparation to start boring it. I've already got a center hole there, so I'm just going to go with a half inch drill bit to start with, and then I think I might have a 5 8. I don't know if I have a 3 quarter or not, but uh, I'll go up to the biggest bit I've got, and then I'll have to actually start boring. But let's get started. <laughs> Got all the way through it with the half inch bit. Now let me see if I've got another bit a little bigger. Well this 13 16 bit is the biggest one I've got. It uh, hopefully is sharp enough to drill through here. Let's give it a shot and see. <laughs>
I got through there with that 13 16 bit and like I said that's the biggest bit I have right now so that's gonna have to do the rest of it I'm just gonna have to uh, bore out with a boring bar it's gonna be a long process I think. but we'll get there Well, as you can tell, I've got the boring bar set up there. It's just a small boring bar, but it's doing the job. I'm taking light cuts about 20 thousandths at a time. I've got a long ways to go here, so uh, I'm going to keep working on it, and I'll bring you back in later on. <laughs>
Okay, I should be getting real close on this thing. That was a spring cut. <clears throat> May have been my final pass. It's real close. What I'm shooting for here right now is one inch five hundred thousandths, actually five hundred and ten thousandths. My spindle bore on the back end there is one inch five hundred thousandths. And I want half of this, this back half of this, to be at one inch five hundred or maybe five hundred and ten, just slightly larger. So let's see where we're at. I should be real close right now. One inch five hundred and four thousandths. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera or not. One inch five hundred and four. I just wanted it slightly bigger than the one inch five hundred. Just so if I ever put anything through there, it's that size, that spider won't be in the way. One inch five hundred and four. I can live with that. So my spindle bore actually was one inch five hundred and five thousandths. That's within one thousandth of being the same size as my spindle bore. There's a rough drawing of what I'm making. The outside diameter of this is this two point one two five. I'm going to come in here 700 thousandths at 1.771. That's the outside diameter of my spindle. I was shooting for 1.510, but as long as I'm real close to that, that's all that matters. I'm, I'm actually 1,000 smaller than that right now. That's not going to create a problem. I'm going to leave the, that the way it is. That's a real crude drawing, by the way, and it's not to scale, but it lets me know what I need to do here. Now, what I want to do on the first half of this, or actually on 700 thousandths of this, I may go slightly less, 680 thousandths, somewhere in that area. I want to bore this out bigger to... Uh, 1.771 so that it'll just fit over my spindle. So I'm going to go a little bit more here. Just to show you what I'm looking at here. I've got my DRO set up here. And I've got it set roughly on zero there on the Z axis for the outside edge of that part. So what I'm going to do is is I'm going to travel into that part at about 600. Well, I'll go ahead and go 700 thousandths. I can always face that a little bit because that whole part's about 200 thousandths longer than what I was initially wanting. So I've got some room there to clean it up and face the edges on that. I want that to be 700 thousandths when I'm done at that bigger diameter. And that'll just slide on my spindle. So. Let's uh, let's go a little more here.
what we've got here. Blow it out a little bit first. One inch, five hundred and fifty-two thousand. So I've taken it out another fifty thousand. So I need to go to one inch, seven seven one. another measurement to see what we've got here.
one inch six hundred and seventy two thousandths. So I've got about a hundred thousandths to go yet. Sure. inch seven hundred and seventy three thousand so that's uh, about an inch and a half thousand bigger than what my actual spindle is let's uh, 